during lockdown I've got into the habit of going out to the camper van in the driveway to cook up some meals. How pathetic is that? In actual fact, I've been enjoying using what I think is one of the best bits of kit available for camper van use, the Ridge Monkey. Originally designed for fishermen making toasted sandwiches at the side of a river, the Ridge Monkey has been adopted by camper vanners and motorhomers as a, a kind of replacement oven. It really is a remarkable bit of kit. Those of you who have seen my earlier videos will be aware that I loved my oven in our old Hyundai 1800 conversion. We could heat pies, pizzas, pastas, you name it, and really it was just so convenient. So when we bought this Autocru Select and it didn't have an oven, we decided to make full use, even more use, of our Ridge Monkey. Now this is a double uh, lightweight die cast aluminium set of pans with a brilliant fluoropolymer non-stick coating. It's got a rigid exterior to give an even heat transfer and it has cool touch handles which are removable to save space. It's actually not very big, so it doesn't take up a lot of space. Uh, one of the problems, of course, with an ordinary frying pan, which tends to have a long, awkward handle, is they're always quite difficult to pack away. And this model of Ridge Monkey, the Compact XL model, comes complete with a set of plastic spatulas, which are conveniently stored inside, as are the removable handles. Now, as I mentioned, the Ridge Monkey was originally designed for fishermen to make toasted sandwiches, and the standard size model is ideal for that. But Ridge Monkey then made a slightly bigger version, and folk realised very quickly you could cook a wide variety of meals in it without any fuss or unnecessary mess. This model is 395 by 200 mil and 40 mil deep, and we use it for not only making toasted sandwiches of all descriptions, but for heating pies and sausage rolls, cooking up a full Scottish breakfast, complete with haggis, or as I'm doing here, making a rather nice omelette for my breakfast. I spray a wee bit of oil into the pan, let it warm up, then add my eggy mixture of two beaten eggs, a drop of milk, some grated cheese and some ham. And in no time at all, you've got a lovely omelette for your breakfast. We also use the Ridge Monkey to heat up pizzas. Now if the pizza is large, then you'll have to fold it over to make it fit. In fact, you kind of create a calzone. Once one side is cooked, flip the Ridge Monkey over, and do the other side, and the end result is brilliant. A pizza with a crispy outside and a hot melted filling. And all you need now is a glass of Italian red wine. From time to time, we're a bit more adventurous in our use of the Ridge Monkey. And on a couple of occasions, I've actually made my own pies using pre-cooked ready rolled shortcut pastry, uh, some filling of mince or stewed steak, or, or even on one occasion, we made one with mac cheese inside. Or of course you could simply warm up a pre-cooked pie. The Ridge Monkey is also great for making curries. I'm very fond of curries and this is how I do it. I use these curry packs. This is a, a patak one but a company called The Spice Tailor does a, a great variety of Indian food too and M&S do a similar thing but in jars uh, rather than in, in pouches. A tiny bit of oil into the pan, about a tablespoonful then in go the mixed spices. Add more chilies if you want it hot. Warm up the spices until they start to give off that pungent aromatic scent. Then add some lamb or maybe chicken, prawns or veggies, depending on your taste. Finally, add the curry sauces and by flipping the pans over from time to time, you make sure that everything is cooked through and nice and evenly cooked in pretty quick time. Finally, some basmati rice, a couple of poppadoms, and there you have it, a very fine lamb madras, which of course calls for a bottle or two of good quality craft beer. Now, of course, you might not fancy the idea of lingering scent of curry in your camper van. In that case, simply take it all outside and cook it on a camping stove in the fresh air. Problem solved. Now that's only a couple of ideas, but Ridge Monkey have a host of recipes idea here on, on YouTube and I'll put a link uh, below and you can try some of them for yourselves. 
But Edge Monkey, like this one, the compact XL model, will set you back anywhere between 25 and 30 quid, depending on where you buy it. And I'll put a link to Ridge Monkey below as well. So, all I can say now is happy cooking. And here's hoping we can all get back in the road as soon as possible. See you next time. Bye-bye.